the circus in. Oh, it is the circus. Oh, wow, I love the circus. Wayne. Wayne? Where's Wayne? He's... Where's the circus being? He's... He's juggling. I used to be in the circus, Triff. Did you? Yeah, no, no, I did. Wow. Show us a trick. Okay, take the balls. Red, green, and yellow. Three of the We call this the flying dwarf. Watch the whole thing. Ready? Okay. Oh, wow. Look at the trapeze. He's grown a beard. I think I've been tricked. It's a bomb. Triv, are you okay? I heard like a big bang in this area. Oh yeah, there was an explosion. Oh, uh, you are okay? Oh, yeah, my uh, my uh, bracelet protects me from explosions. It says one time use, Triv. It, yeah, it is. It's, it's useless oh. now. Which is a shame. Well, that's the end of that then. It is. Any more explosions and that'd be the end of me. Yeah. <sighs> Luckily I was high up. Yeah. Where'd you be upon? Oh no, that's, that's, that was just for the act. We, we change. It's, uh, Frank's got it in the minute. So, on with Risk. Risk? Right, so this chapter's a lot about... It's a strange thing. It's mostly about understanding of Risk and perception and stuff, but right at the beginning there's one calculation you need to know how to do. Yes. That's uh, all about probability, which is how Risk is measured. Yeah, yeah, you, you work out what Risk is. So, we'll go for an example and then go for the rest. So if you say there's 40,000 people in a year who have suffered from lung cancer, and there's 60 million people in the world, England. In England. In England. In England. In England. Then you do just what Wayne's done, and that will give you the one in how many chance there is of getting the thing. But people aren't very good at estimating this. And that's what the rest of this chapter is about. It's called perception of risk. Yeah. Like if you're just terrible at estimating to uh, where we are and relative to the thing. Say if I exploded in a huge bomb accident, which is terrible, Wayne would be much more scared of bombs. Because I know him and I'm near him and I was above the bomb when it happened. Yeah. But if someone in Cardiff read on the news, it wouldn't really bother them too much. It was nowhere near them. Chances of them having a bomb isn't a big deal. Or if they just didn't hear about it, then or they would. If they didn't hear about it, they have no, no perception at all, really. Yeah. But if there was a shark attack and the new media went mad, sharks are evil, then no one would be scared of sharks. But there's not very much chance of falling off or getting hurt by a shark. There's actually much more chance of falling off a trapeze and dying. Yeah. But if you don't hear about it, it doesn't happen very often, mostly, but. There's a, there's a massive risk of doing it. There's a it. huge risk. It's just the people that do it are well trained. Yeah, so they... So people then think the risk of going on a trapezium is minimal when it isn't, obviously. When it isn't, it's much higher than being people. eaten by a shark. And that's perception of risk. That is perception of risk. There's a few things that actually change perception of risk. You have to know a few factors. That's like, um... Genetics. Yeah. Yeah, so actually changing the risk. Say if, if, um... Wayne's mum... And family had a history of, of heart disease. I'd have a greater risk of heart disease. He would. That's my genetic makeup. That's just how that works. Then there's the physical environment stuff. Say, if I lived in just off the M1, I had more chance of getting hit by a car than... Living on a farm. Yeah. The chance of getting hit there is, is minimal, because they're normally in rural areas. And it's that sort of thing. At the moment, the chapter's just sort of understanding that sort of idea. It's quite a small chapter. It's a very small chapter. We're not going to bother with the summary. No, because this is pretty much it. This is pretty much the summary. Um, um, this was topic 1.3. Yeah. We should mention again, we should in mention in all of these for the topic 1. They've divided the book up in the contents page. We're dividing it up at the top with every title changes. So we're one ahead. Yeah. So, this was 1.3, 1.2 in the book. We'll see what 1.4 or 1.3 in the book. Alright. Wait, I can do it.